Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel. And today it's Thrifty Thursday, although it's actually Friday in Australia. And I am a little bit late in uh, joining in the Thrifty Thursday group. Uh, Cherie from Turquoise Dreaming has a Thrifty Thursday weekly event where people can post their videos of all the goodies that they've collected from op shops during the week before. I had only recently found out about Thrifty Thursday when uh, Christina from Christina's Creations commented on my stamps, postage stamp giveaway. So I checked out her channel and saw she was doing Thrifty Thursday video. So that's how come I'm suddenly doing my op shop trip is turning into Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> we call them op shops here, but that's OK. We can call it Thrifty Thursday. Um, but as I say, it's on a Friday here. But I have checked and technically it is Thursday somewhere in the world. I looked up, I just chose Alaska thinking that Alaska was the furthest away from Perth WA and it is technically still Thursday in Alaska. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just, a, you know, the idea is to show our goodies from our op shop and collaborate with the um, other ladies who are oh, the other channels who are also doing Thrifty Thursday and to promote each other. So I will put a link to Cherie Turquoise Dreaming, or it's actually Turquoise Dreaming, Cherie, that's the name of her channel, and Christina's Creations. I'll put links to the other ladies, which I don't know off the top of my head who they are, but I will find the links from uh, Cherie's uh, video and put those links in the, uh, in the description below if you want to check out all of the Thrifty Thursday videos and then hopefully I will try to do this on a weekly basis because I kind of never know whether to do op shop videos or not so you'll have to let me know whether you want to see more of this kind of video um, because I do get a lot of goodies <laughs> mom and I love op shopping today's op shop trip was uh, on Wednesday and I went out with Jane I did film an intro but the noise was horrendous so I might just flash up a picture of me talking like a mad woman <laughs> Um, outside the uh, local art group where we were meeting to go on our op shop trip. In the end, there's only the two of us. It was meant to be more. I do have some footage of Jane and I shopping at the uh, op shops um, where we went to up in Armadale. And so sometimes there's a little bit of noise and I'd like to warn anyone who gets motion sickness, you might want to skip forward. I know I get motion sickness sometimes watching people's camera move erratically which does happen when you're sort of on location skip forward you won't miss out on any of the goodies because all of the goodies and if you don't want to see the op shopping part you can also skip forward to whatever the time is on the screen and that that is where I will start to show you all the goodies um, I'll go through them all so you won't miss anything the the, uh, the filming of just us op shopping is just a bit of a bit of fun. So see, these are just some of the goodies. There's a lot more goodies to show you. I just picked out a few that were still hanging around my <laughs> my table. And then the other thing is, before we go on to the op shopping, I promised another stamp giveaway. So we have our wonderful box of Aussie stamps, which I'm giving away. These were also bought in an op shop <laughs> last week, and I'm giving them away, as most of you who watch my channel know. But if you don't, then welcome. So these stamps are being given away during the month of October. I am basically putting them in little packets like these. These ones have already been won and will be posted off today. So these are the little packets. There'll be 31 stamps in the packet and they'll be all different. They're all Australian and they're all um, from about the 1980s. So um, botanicals, um, these purple flowers. Yeah, so lots of different stamps. People have responded really well to, to my stamp giveaway. I got 25 entries in my first giveaway. So to enter the draw for the five packets of postage stamps that I'm giving away on this video, all you need to do is subscribe, press like, and make a comment below this video mentioning the stamps. So just mention stamps and then you will be entered. And what I do is I put your name on a list and then I use the uh, random number generator. You get allocated a number and I, I choose five numbers or the computer chooses five numbers. And those are the people who win the stamps. It can be international or Australia. Um, it's just a little thank you to my subscribers for subscribing, liking and commenting and helping me to grow my channel. I give, I give you three days to make a comment. If you miss out on this particular drawing, of the stamps then there'll be other videos throughout the month of October where you can uh, enter for the stamps. I hope that all makes sense. A bit of 
a bit of a jumble with my uh, recording today and the whole video is in bits and pieces so I apologize if it's not quite coherent <laughs> okay thank you very much on with the video that's what today's video is about I'll be looking more closely at these goodies yeah so just remember to skip forward if you if you get motion sickness thanks very much for watching on with the video in the corner of the shop it's quite busy I don't really like to film while I'm walking around but this is the basket in one shop that I've picked up all these beautiful envelopes uh, papers sweet stickers yes all this in one shop it's called just box love this box draw line the paper this uh, Kate Greenaway book full of gorgeous pictures the gorgeous envelopes Ooh, lovely <laughs> and a book a really old book of animals so this is just from one shop so excited <laughs> I didn't find considering how many books there are I didn't find as many books as I thought I would and I love art books but they're all too expensive some of these are $15 yeah no, I'm not paying that there was lots to get through <laughs> had to mute this part because uh, the background noise was horrendous <laughs> so didn't think I'd put you through that but where I got where, where those baskets are I didn't turn around and when I came back in I found this whole section of um, these lace packets and I hadn't uh, I hadn't seen them so I'm just going through them but the the noise was absolutely horrendous there was a little boy he had the toys just behind the shelving there where I where I was stood and he had the toys and he was banging them against the metal shelving and I said to one of the shopkeepers oh who's just that little boy she goes oh, it's the it's actually the manager's <laughs> the manager's grandson so no one can say anything <laughs> and the grandmother she comes out and she goes oh stop doing that <laughs> and this bag this kid is banging for all his strength the toys against the shelving so yeah I couldn't uh, I couldn't keep the audio in <laughs> so I've just found the lace because I was looking in those baskets and uh, no I hadn't oh that's what I want too look little see little um, appliques 30 cents some of the things are really good price some of them not so much oh. yes yeah, so they probably have to clear space for their Christmas stock but um I mean, I could buy all of that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I could buy all of it, but I'm not going to. So, what's all this? Oh, there's that black lace down there too. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I want that much black lace. What's this say? Oh, I'll grab that. It's a dollar fifty. <laughs> so, they gave me a trolley because I had so much stuff. That's my trolley. Look at it all. Julie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but this one's a good one. Okay, yeah, I know. I mean, you said it wasn't good. Yeah, you like it. The other thing is, if you look through, I um, will. Some a couple of things with the mum. Come back. I mean, you know, if, if you're no, not, it'll if you're be not gone. Sure. <laughs> you know, You've got to fight with you. Oh no, 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 no! I'll just grab what I think I can use. Yes, okay. uh, but I do go through and shortlist my little okay. pile. That's good. Right, I'll, I'll see you in the next shop. New shop I haven't seen before as well. Charity shop. I like the. Uh, the non-main brands because you never know what you're going to get. I haven't looked at these books yet. I'll check that rose book out. I'm not very old ones. I like to look for. Sometimes you find old books in these kinds of shops, but they tend to clear them out. I think I don't know what they do with them. Hmm. I want to get this book. Children's section. Springtime tales. It's got super cute pictures in it. Look at those. Gorgeous. I love that book, so I want to do a Peter Rabbit book, so I'm sure I find some gorgeous images in that one. That's what's, what else is up here? Uh, it's all healthy eating. Mm. Mm. I was giving up um, because I couldn't really find anything, but just down the bottom here it says exotic birds. They're all heavy. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> Sports. Let's check out the bird book. How much is it? Three dollars. Exotic birds. Hmm, interesting. Photographic. I would have preferred non-photographic. Oh, that's nice. 
I think that's uh, quite nice. Haberdashery shop. Near, the, near an op shop. I don't get haberdashery shops here anymore. I just spot that. I haven't really got time to look at everything. There's so much stuff. I am going to buy this lace. Because I love that. Because I love to cut those up. But look at all the lace. Ribbons and things over there. Might go, look, might go check look at the buttons. This one is an older style charity shop. You never know what you're going to get. This book on herbs, it's always useful. Gardening with herbs. Um, always craft. Crafting made it easy. Embroidery. Technique, art and technique of painting on porcelain. Mm -hmm. I like the cover already. Jane. Oh, look at those birds. Pretty. I already like it. All oh, the roses. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, yes, see, I love the porcelain painting books are good to find. Because it They've got, usually got pretty, pretty diagrams. I think there's some more here too. And this one. There's three. I don't know how, I don't know how much they are. Yeah. Decorative painting. I don't know what this one is. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh, interesting. Ooh, I need stencil. Okay. Stencils at the... Okay. Yeah. Maybe not so much. No. Maybe. It's got some borders. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's not not, not thrilled so far. It's more outlined, isn't it? Yeah, in the process of. I mean, I like these little borders, but I'm not going yeah, to yeah. buy a whole book just for no. the borders. No. Okay. And then there's one more. China painting projects. Oh, gee, they have some books here, don't they? Oh, same lady. Same lady. Oh, yes, it'll be her whole collection. Oh, oh. see, they're really nice. Okay. See, pretty. Oh, they're nice. That's the kind of style oh, I want to do. Is it? Okay. Like, this with the dark okay. shadows and it makes the, oh, makes it look three D. Yes, I didn't even show you. Give it a thing. Yeah. To do. Well, I'm not want to yeah. paint the flowers. I just cut the flowers out oh, okay. and then shade around them. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, to, for, it, no, like, for me, if I want to paint them. Well, but, you could paint them, but I, that's I would pretty. Paint them. Remember? Some pretty things. Okay. Yeah, I'm that's gonna get one. that one. Get, get that one. Yep. Happy with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice two then. Thank you. It is in here, but I don't think there's too much. I'm going to try and get this herb book out. I'll be back in a minute. Cover so far, illustrated herbs. I've got myself a table. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yes, very nice. Five dollars. Herbs illustrated. Gorgeous book. So you've got to check every little shelf because you just never know. So that shelves are quite tidy, but they're all novels. So, oh, it's down the bottom. Mm. I don't think there's anything in there. But some of the shelves are a bit of a jumble. I don't know what you're going to find. Oh, a Japanese painting. Oh, okay. You make your little scrolls. Hmm. I'm not sure that I would get around to doing that. So just got back from op shopping with Jane and most of these items I picked up today, a couple of items I didn't. So this was floating around on my desk, which I haven't shown you, which is just, I don't even know where I got it from, but it's really pretty. <laughs> I love it. I did pick up this lace today from the haberdashery shop. So I picked up a meter of that. I like it because it's uh, in a sort of a vintage yellow sort of colour. So really pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put all these things when I finish with them. Probably never to be found again. This was really funny. We'd, we'd finished op shopping and we went to have a copy, coffee at our local dome shop. They have a stand of these beautiful cards. And I went to ask what was going on with the cards. And you get these gift cards and you put money on them. I asked her how much it would cost me to just get the cards and could I just put money on one card because I don't want three different cards. She said, what are you using them for? I said, crafting. So they're so beautiful. Just take them. 
So yeah, rose, butterflies and bird. Beautiful. I love those. This Victorian flower album, I think I got this one online. I don't remember how much it was. I think that's where I got it, but it's really pretty. Look at this. It's an address book from, what, 1992. But look at the images. Oh, gorgeous. So, yeah, no one used it actually as an address book. But very pretty. Edith Holden style. Well, Victorian style, I guess. Victorian style watercolours. Very, very gorgeous. God's Floral Gems Collected and Painted in the Summer Evenings of 1873 by Henry Terry. Love that book. <laughs> Forget Me Not. This is a really lovely book, really lovely cover. If you turn this into a journal, you just wouldn't need to do anything to it. It's, uh, it's beautiful. A little bit of paint up there, but I'll just have a lace down the side and put something across the bottom and this Forget Me Not can just stay as it is. Look at the beautiful images. Get me lot flowers and beautiful papers. Beautiful. Um, this one's called The Scented Victorian Garden, Australian Household Companion. So it's a book of old remedies and old fashioned household hints, natural home remedies, health and beauty secrets and favorites from our household so grandma tarts rice muffins it's got recipes old-fashioned hints graying hair so this is what we should be doing ladies we should rinse it with a strong infusion of privet leaves or try thinly slicing the peel of three green oranges steep them in fine almond oil for a fortnight strain comb through your hair and shampoo yeah not doing that <laughs> The book is beautiful, nice end pages. Uh, it's got some cute little images at the back, but it has these pictures which they turn up everywhere. I've got these images already in another book. Uh, a lot of, a lot of the, a lot of the same images. These vases of flowers. Uh, I haven't seen that one before. Pretty. So yeah, some of them are a bit risque. I've got a couple of that that one a couple of times. I was going to use her in my vintage ladies journal. I haven't seen those particular ones. But yeah, there's, there's um, lots of vintage images. And, and well, you've got to decide which side you want. Yeah, beautiful rows. You know, they make nice journal cards. They go on the front of little booklets that you could slot into junk journals. So yeah, lovely, um, lovely images. Usually if anything says Victorian, it's, it's got these gorgeous images. But that's a really nice book. $3. Lovely cover. All right, so just going to finish off this pile down here. I got this at the op shop with Jane today. The magazine's not that great, but I do like decoupage magazines. But this particular one doesn't have a lot of fodder in it for me. So I may put the magazine back into the op shop because there's not a lot of point. But why I bought it... <laughs> was just for one simple thing. We'll get to it in a moment here. I just got it for these. It's got a bookmark too, which I don't really want, but there's a bookmark. Um, I, I liked these. Now, I don't know if I paid 50 cents or a dollar. I think I probably paid a dollar, but uh, I already have some of these, but I haven't got these particular ones. So I'm going to put this in with my Victorian scraps collection that I already have. And um, that's in, they're in mint condition. They're lovely. And I think I might actually put that back in the op shop. All I wanted with this. <laughs> All right, this book. I got this today. The lady decided it was a children's book. Oh, I don't really think it is a children's book. But children's books were half price and she decided it was... Oh, it's $2. So I got it for a dollar. I thought that was a bargain. 1982. Kate Greenaway apparently was around in 1847. And look at these gorgeous images.
It's just images of the, the um, paintings that she did. Gorgeous, gorgeous images. I love them all. And they're all single-sided. Yay, you don't have to decide um, which one. So basically it's a print of... You know, and the thing is that the printing quality is so much better than what I can do, you know, with my inkjet printer. It is possible that the images are in the public domain, but I wouldn't know. So Almanac for 1884 by Kate Greenaway. Isn't that just gorgeous for, for a uh, journal cover? I love it. Um, beautiful book. I love that book. Okay, so that's the middle pile. <laughs> Let's just do these two little books here. I always look, sometimes the op shops have this little box and they have all these little mini books separate. I always love them and I almost always find something I like. So $2, a little mini book. Obviously I can use the covers at some stage. Look at the end papers. They're really lovely. They're so pretty. Um, yeah, some, I mean, just they're just journal cards or tags waiting to go. Um, they're just beautiful. Look at that. I love that rose. Beautiful. Um, I haven't read anything in the book. Don't even know what it is. What is it? Roses all the way. A celebration in words and paintings. Selected by Helen Exley. So Helen Exley chose some very nice images. Look at that. Very pretty. So lovely, lovely. Always pick up those little mini books. Same with this one. This one's a bit different. Left, I like the um, cover. Again, makes a nice little journal cover. Look at that. Gorgeous. I love those kinds of pages. Um, 1993. This has just got really cute images. And advice on friendship. I don't know what that means. When befriended, remember it. When you befriend, forget it. I don't understand that. Am I a bit dumb? Animals are such agreeable friends. They ask no questions and they pass no criticisms. Hmm. Not entirely convinced that my cat does not criticise me. I do think that when they, you know, meow a lot, they're basically saying, Oi, you're not feeding me in a timely fashion. Oh, look at the pretty border. Beautiful. Oh, look at the basket. That's so nice. Um, yeah, tags. I mean, anywhere. Anywhere you like to put a flower. Pretty little book. Usually they're one or two dollars. I don't pay more than that for those. I got this cute little handkerchief. I don't know where I got it. Oh, I know. I know. The, Victor the, um, the little antique and collector's fair on Sunday with mum. Picked up a few items from there. A couple of them I weren't ha wasn't very happy with. You get that. Occasionally you get duds. This is nice. Little hanky. Just a sweet little hanky. <laughs> Very pretty. This little item. I always look for art supplies. Um, I've been saying I don't have very many pastels. I don't know if I've got pastels like this. I was using these the other day. These are more like crayons. These are the original oil pastels by secure secura so i thought they might be all right they're all right for a dollar i'm happy with those though the only art supplies i found today i didn't find any art supplies uh, i found these a whole box of them so there's these little envelopes oh no sorry these little cards but they're just on really thin paper ideal for collaging not going to take up too much space pretty little image Another thing about friendship, they're all thinnish paper and, you know, vintage ivory yellow. Very pretty. So, you know, instead of using cards where they're really thick, these vintage, and of course I've got some vintage envelopes, which I don't really use envelopes that much. Uh, those ones, basket, oh, they're nice, sort of pansies. I got this. It said Paisley Stationery, so I was quite excited because I thought it was going to be full of Paisley. Let's move this across. It's in my way. But it's not. 
don't understand. Unless <laughs> it's got a paisley wrapper and a paisley packet, and then it has very plain envelopes. <laughs> it's beautiful ivory paper, and yeah, it's just this little tiny paisley diagram. I mean, it's very pretty, but it doesn't have as much paisley as I thought it would have. Ah, it's okay. Um, some envelopes for a dollar. Haven't looked at them yet. I'll edit out the noise. So pretty rose and jewelry on the back. So I wouldn't necessarily want the jewelry, um, but yeah, ideal there for a label if you're putting it on a corner of a page. Um, and I just love love that. That's just lovely. This writing compendium. Now, if, as soon as I saw it. This is oh, make a beautiful journal cover. Oh my god, it's just lovely. So botanical journal cover. Um, oh, it's just so nice. Put something up the top here. Put something up in the corner. Take the price off. A little bit of just a little bit of something on the back. Some sort of beautiful image. It's basically very vintage looking. It's just gorgeous. And inside is even more gorgeous. Look at this beautiful the, even just the lining oh I just need to take that off the only thing is these things I don't know that I really want those and if I tear them off I know it's going to damage it so what I would probably do is take those off I can I'll keep them take those off and then put a pocket down the side a tuck spot to hide that this paper is not part of it it's just someone's tucked that in so it's teddy bear teddy bear paper pretty as well um but this so this was the original writing set so i thought these were envelopes but these are the cards playing cards but the pictures on the front are gorgeous and so yeah, apparently she's used the person has used lots of the envelopes well, they should probably go in there personally the writing paper goes here but look how many sheets you get I'm assuming she's used some look at those gorgeous sheets of paper if you don't want to you know use your inkjet to print paper up they're just perfect journal pages um, absolutely stunning and a whole lot of them and those there what a beautiful but what a beautiful book that will be one day that to me funnily enough this i think this is my favorite piece that i bought today and i've got a lot of things a lot of things but this the, the cover the card the paper the inside it's just and it's just gorgeous I'm very happy with that so i haven't seen what this is i haven't opened this yet dollar fifty it says beyond the woods four majestic woodland scenes ready for you to stamp and color and it says all good things are wild and free sending love on your special day well, i don't really make cards but woodland journal here we come <laughs> i always find it amazing in a room full of paper i never have any at hand <laughs> I've got this slightly vintage paper. All right, so no one's ever used it, obviously. Let's just do this. Doing it this way. This way, then, you don't push it into the areas you don't want it to go to. So my brown's not, like, super inky. Anyway, let's see. Getting it all over the paper. Yeah, not very experienced at this, but let's just see if we can get an image. And... And then this gives you a guide for the colouring. Yeah, can't go wrong, can you? It's got also got the sentiments. So, yeah, I like that. Okay, that's why I always have this in all my videos, because it's always glary. Okay, so I'll show you these cards. Round playing cards. Never had those before. That They were sort of... I would possibly think about these being Christmassy. It's sort of reminiscent of a snowflake, but I don't think it actually is. They're just really pretty. Gorgeous playing cards. I've never seen anything like those. Love those. 50 cents for all the vintage cards. I've got these as well. I can't find the packet. 
there's a cover for these, but I can't find them anywhere. Anyway, it was a, just a pack of Dubai cars. I just thought, well, gold, you know, something different. Um, but I didn't, and I didn't, couldn't look at them. But some of the um, images are really, really, really snazzy. I love the Ace. I know it's a bit shiny. It's hard for you to see when they're, when it's so shiny. But they're really stunning cards. I don't know how easy it would be to play cards with them. But they're really pretty. Um, and then in amongst the cards with this certificate. And it says, Certificate of Authenticity, Gold Foil, Leverage Test Report, 99.9% .9 pure 24 karat gold. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I love it. Uh, yeah, but I've lost the cover for it, so I don't know. Whether, I can't understand how that could possibly be gone. But anyway, it is not here. And I also picked up these cards, but I'm not too sure how good they are. Uncle Sam. They're like new, but they're old. The packs, you know, you can tell it's a really old pack, but it's a brand new pack that hasn't been used. And they're an unusual shape. They're kind of fat. Yeah, so. But I like the blue colour because they're nearly always red and that, that, that particular image is quite nice. Might be quite common in the US but it's not the same image that we get. And I got these. I'm not sure if I like these. I had quite a lot of playing cards but I only picked up the ones I liked. But I don't know. I will include some of these in the next giveaway but some people might like them but it's just this kind of like sailing. They're different. I haven't got anything like it. And they're very vintage looking. So if you don't like the picture, you can certainly alter the back and keep this vintage looking front, you know, in your journal. So they're very, very vintage looking cards. Picked up these real cigarette cards, but you know, I was disappointed with these. I didn't check them. I just bought them sight unseen. So I thought, oh, well, I really like real cigarette cards, but they're all in pretty poor condition. Um... I mean, that one's quite nice, the chinchilla. There's a goat, which I don't really want a goat. Wolverine. Um, this one's not too bad. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of damage on them. And they're all mostly animals that I'm not that interested in. Not one in for journals so you know you can i should have checked the cards better and then there's these weird ones oh oh that's right sporting ones which you know collectors might like them so they're all sporting and that's really modern looking it's a motorboat i didn't realize they they go so recent and then opium making opium i mean no i don't want that <laughs> yeah, sports yeah so not overly thrilled with my will cigarette cards these ones anyway i like the other ones i have but um yeah they'll just go in a box <laughs> what else do we have so this next pile are all sort of similar um those two I got previously. These, these two I got today. You saw me. I think you saw me find them. Yeah, these are the ones that Jane helped me look at. So, look at that. See, just gorgeous images. And I just want the rose part. Um, I don't know. I don't think anybody's going to be using the book as a china painting anymore. People don't tend to use books, do they? Look at that. It's very. They're very pretty. And you know. I don't know, I just think they're gorgeous. So that was one of the books. That was right, we were talking about this picture where I, you know, I might try to recreate that kind of style. These are nice. But you've got the sketch, so that if I wanted to try to paint that or color it I could but gorgeous robin they're very pretty they're nice as well and then the rest were the ones we looked at before 
that one. I mean, you can use that on the front of a journal. I have so many ideas, I just, just don't have time to do them all. Very nice. So I do like China painting. And then this one I got when I was out with Mum. 1965. The op shop, I don't know, they just put it out for 50 cents. They didn't think much of it at all. Um, it's like, why do you want that? Oh, I love old books. Really? What I said? <laughs> but there's a lot of black and white images. And occasionally there is a beautiful colour image. But you are rewarded with a beautiful image. That would be nice at Christmas. The Christmas journal. And there's still some lovely black and white images. And then a beautiful colour one. There's one more. Oh, look at that one, yeah. The birds. Gorgeous. Oh, lovely. And one more. So lots of lovely plates in there for journal covers or journal pages. A gorgeous book. Colourful course. In, I don't know if I told you all the titles. Colourful course in China painting by Lillian Crook. China painting with Sheila Southwell and the Art and Technique of Painting on Porcelain by George Miserez Shearer. Um, I've had hers before, Beth Watson. I think it's Beth Watson I've had before. Um, I've got a couple of China painting books that I've used. Maybe it wasn't this one. So same sort of thing. It's a little manual on how to do China painting with some colourful images just to copy so lovely book all right so this book you did see saw me find it i just saw the bookshelf and decided to film it in case there was anything good and there was one book in there i do like to clean up the books and make them look a bit nicer all right so this one was my i think my most expensive book today it's herbs and illustrated International Illustrated by Gilda Daisley. Vintage sort of book. Oh, oh look. Very nice. Mm. Mm, 1989. It has all of the herbs. I know all about them. And a picture for each of them. Nasturtium. Yeah. Dandelions. I don't know if it was a herb. If it was a weed. Boiled in vinegar, it is good against the pains that trouble some in making water. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I have heard of dandelion tea. Gorgeous. Lavender. That's a very unusual looking lavender. They usually show them with more bunched up. Rue, Penny Royal, Thyme. Beautiful. Hmm. Lovely. And I got this other one on herbs as well. Not as good. Has photographs at the back and recipes and food. I mean, not many. Pretty. Yeah, it's quite a nice book. But there's all these beautiful images it's, it's all shiny paper but yeah lots and lots and lots of tag sized images <laughs> plenty of things that you can find in op shops if you don't um, have Edith Holden. And then this one, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I bought this one. I liked it when I first got it and I showed it to Jane and she liked it too. Which It's got all these exotic birds, <laughs> which are really great, but I'm not entirely quite sure what I'm going to do, <laughs> do with them. Um, They're lovely. I mean, this parrot is just gorgeous. But it's huge. What am I going to do with him? I don't know what I was thinking I would do with this book when I bought it. So I'll just stay as a uh, 
decorative book on my bookshelf, I think. Yeah, <laughs> a huge decorative book on my bookshelf. Sometimes I get enthusiastic. Look at the tail feathers on that. The male long-tailed widow bird. One of the longest tail birds. Must have, you know, I, that's the hoopoo thing. I'd never heard of a hoopoo until I heard Barbara mention it. <laughs> oh, look at that. I mean, I was never this interested in birds till, till I did junk journaling. That is a very interesting looking bird. <laughs> Now, he would look cute, I have to say. Definitely um, colourful, aren't they? Ooh, don't like that one. Yeah, they won't be going in my journal. No, no, don't do ugly. Ooh, no. No. But some beautiful coloured birds. Look at these two cans. <laughs> Sorry for the glare. It's a shiny paper. Um, the whole book doesn't even fit in. Um, uh, that they gorgeous. I like the photography in this book. Um, they, it's, it's very nicely done. You know, like, I like dramatic. I wish it was, this is all matte. I wish it was all matte. It's falling apart. Not too sure what I'm going to do with that. What else did I get? I got this at an op shop, which you don't see these in op shops very often. In fact, never, <laughs> till the other day. There's a whole box of them down there. Vintage pianola paper. In my next giveaway, you can expect some pianola paper. I hope nobody's got a pianola and gets upset. Interesting too, this one's called My Dream Waikiki. We have a Waikiki here where I live. Um... My dream of Waikiki, Hawaiian waltz. Um, today I picked up this in that first shop. It's got a thing about draw line of paper at the moment because it's very thin. So apparently now I've got five metres of it. Hmm, five metres is quite a lot, I think. And it's 600 millimetres wide, so... <laughs> uh, pink paper, we have plenty of, Mum. If you want any pink paper, you know where to come. So I will send some down or bring some down when I come so it's old sellotape it's okay on the top so I'm going to cut off that first part since I've got <laughs> five meters of it and now it's pristine because the outside cover kept it nice yeah it's a much darker pink than what it's showing in the camera it's quite lolly pink you know maybe you know a little bit bigger than a4 size or something like that um, I found them very useful for covering those pages in my altered book so that it doesn't, I can't see. So trying to do gesso and all that, yeah, it's annoying me. So I actually think covering the pages with this kind of thing, draw line of paper, is super helpful because, and you can get these in the, um, I picked up some in the op shops. I got that one in the op shop for $2, but you can buy it new currently for $4. I think it's all one colour, but there's blue pink yellow and green so mum and i picked up some of these in op shops the other day but it was actually 250 i mean look at all that paper for 250 and it's thin and just has roses nice for a rose journal i don't know that i would normally buy this but it was a dollar and i thought well why not it apparently is a brand new not used quilling set which I never even knew what quilling was until the other day. Okay, maybe they have used it. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. You could use this on tags instead of ribbon. It's the wrong colour, but sometimes it's a bit bulky or it doesn't fit through the hole. So I just thought maybe the quill paper would be like a faux ribbon. So with all those different colours, I'm bound to be able to get a piece. And I just thought, for junk journaling, would not paper be a good idea once you get it set up? So now you can press it flat at an angle. And it's flat, totally flat. Flatter than the actual tag. I don't know. That was just my idea for all of this that I... Because my friend Jane says, why do you want that? <laughs> I said, because it's going to be like ribbon. I'm not really interested in quilling. Jane and I bought this. We sort of found it together at the same time and 
I was showing it to her. She said she liked it. I said, yeah, I like it too. So we decided to pay half each. Uh, it was all of $3. Share the paper. Anyway, I can't get that undone. And I would keep the cover. So we both do art. But it's got all this lovely black paper. I thought it was maybe, I mean, we only looked at it for a few seconds. I thought maybe it's a photo album. But I don't think it is. What is it? It says from the NGA shop. HCMC Vietnam. Hum which I thought they were screwed on, so I thought I could take it apart, but I can't. So it's got this hinge nailed on, and it's got holes here. Now I was trying to get this apart because I'm wondering whether I can take the pages out if this comes out, but I don't actually hold much hope. Okay, so I'll take that out. So I want to take the paper out, and then I've got to decide if I want to make a journal out of it. Now the thing is someone's already used the paper because look there's always paper missing. So I'm really quite confused but I was hoping that when I took, got rid of the bow that I could take it out but I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't understand. It's the weirdest thing. It's, and because what's weird about it is you can't... So it's got this huge hinge system here but you can't open the pages to look at them. You know, if you were to try and draw or paint on it, it's almost like it's a collection to hold your, a cover to hold your beautiful boards. And then you tear them out when you want them. But then why is it all this? I don't understand. Anyway, this, I've counted there's 20 pieces of paper. So we get 10 each. Oh, it's moving. Okay. <laughs> so I've got this paper block, paper block of which I can now divide into ten and retie it. <laughs> And so then she's got some lovely paper, which we don't exactly know what's special about it. it just seemed special. All right, a little pack for Jane, <laughs> and a little pack for me. And now I have this cover. What am I going to do this? Use this for? Thought I could make a journal out of it, but weirdly, it doesn't open. So I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Hmm. And tie them up. Anyway, that's gone in a too hard basket. I'm not too sure what to do with those. All right, so nearly at the end, we have this. So you saw in the video that I bought lace. I picked out myself some lace because, you know, you can never have too much lace. I've got too much lace. But I know that everybody else does too. Well, all the channels anyway. Are you guys the same? Do you have a room full of lace? If you do junk journaling. Not so much if you just do collaging. Mum doesn't really use lace. Um, but if you do junk journaling, you might use lace. Oops. So we've got some little roses. Yeah, I don't know why I bought the black particularly don't like really like those that much we didn't need the black if i make a black and white journal we have got black and white and then i like this box now i don't know what i'm going to put in this box but i said to the lady when i'm buying when, when i was buying the items i said well just i'll put them in here when, you, when i paper them and i just thought it would be useful for something <laughs> i don't know what i haven't decided what i'm going to put in things Almost everything you get from the op shops is grubby. You have to clean it. So this is what I got from that one shop. Along with the other stuff I've showed you. Some of the other stuff. Uh, little cat stickers if ever I make a cat journal. Or I might give them to mum. I might give them to mum. Peacock, that's quite nice. And then paper toll. I never did paper toll. I never did scrapbooking. So half the time 
I don't really know what it is, but I do have a vague idea what paper towel is when they make that 3D 3D pictures. Oh, I never really liked it to be honest. I saw some today in the op shop, like you know, in a frame, but it didn't do anything to me. I like the images, but I don't like them in their 3D glossy ceramic looking pictures. I don't know. Anyway, I get this. They will turn up in um, the next giveaway, <laughs> or one of those. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Doesn't need to be a paper towel thing. Okay, and got lots of stationery this time. Poppies. Oh no, just envelopes. But very pretty envelopes though. Will look beautiful in a journal. And you know they have that nice, slightly yellow colour, so they. Don't look too white. If you like these goodies, let me know. And uh, they will turn up because, you know, obviously, you know, I pick up this pack for 50 cents. I can't use all of these <laughs> in a million years. Because I don't churn out hundreds of journals like people, other people do. I'm not very prolific. Okay, so we'll cut. Oh, again. Oh, lovely thin paper, Mum. They're beautiful. Just just really simple they're like I think they're for when we used to do airmail letters um, you know so that the it didn't, didn't cost the earth to post it so airmail things needed to be thin and light so a whole bunch of those so lots of things to share share with mum and share with um, my subscribers in the giveaway the giveaway will be I don't know, early, early November, I'm thinking. A little, another little packet of stamps. And again, lovely, not, not white. These ones have koala. If you don't want the photographic, the, the gum leaves are in uh, watercolour, so just put your own sticker over the um, koala, or you keep the koala, whatever you like. Okay, and then there's this. Someone's put together a little booklet, I'm not too sure. Sandy and Roz. And it's just got these cards. Someone's printed it up and cut it. Memories. And so the idea was, I think they were going to put photographs in here. All right, any more cards? Yes, we've got this envelope. Oh, we've got this card. I just bought that for the... Uh... It's huge, so and I don't really want all that pink. So I'm just going to cut this off. So I'll just take that off. And now I've got a cute... Um... I can cut that off and it makes a tag. Uh, that was 10 cents or something. The card box. So I don't know what's in this bundle. They wrap things up so well sometimes. Oh, I think it's just envelopes. Uh, oh, I've got loads of envelopes. <laughs> well, now I've got loads more. Wow, anyone wants some envelopes? I should do an envelope giveaway. <laughs> um, okay, we've got pretty pale green envelopes. Brown one. Boring white. Blue. Oh, they're nice. Embossed teal. Boring white. Get rid of the boring white ones. I have a box full of boring white envelopes. If I need a lot of boring white envelopes, I have a box full. Green, I think I'd put the green in the Christmas box. Pink, they're nice, pale pink. And some blue. And yeah, I don't know where these go. <laughs> I don't know that I knew they were just envelopes. I thought they might have been, might have been paper. Those teal ones are nice. The embossing on it, they're gorgeous. It's probably worth it just for that. Okay. So before we get onto the lace, this was 50 cents. It normally costs $7, apparently. Maps and illustrations, hand-drawn by Linda, crafted in Australia. Journey jotting, so it's a travel thing. But it had quite cute images. If ever I do an Australiana journal, it's full of cute illustrations of Australiana. I just thought it was cute. It's 50 cents. So, uh, <laughs> All right, and then the last papery thing. Oh, we've got this, which is just a really thick card for 50 cents. So I'm just going to put that in my cardstock shelf. And then these stickers. So that one's been used, but that's quite nice. They're um, quite pretty. Sparking stickers. I'll try to remember to use those decorative elements on my pages somewhere. All right, I want to open this. Uh, maybe I don't like it. 
Ah, it wasn't as nice as I thought it was. It's just some Mm. Mm. Don't really like that. Okay, pin. Okay, classic trim. Oh, that's nice. That's super pretty and super thin. I like that. That's lovely. And this one, all these plastic bags, they drive me crazy. I just, oh, I mean, the amount of money they spend buying plastic bags and then getting 30 cents for something. You know, for two two pieces of applique. Some pretty blue lace. Yeah, the, the lace the lace is nice because this is different to anything I've got. Well, I say that. I don't think I can keep track of the lace I've got now. See, these are just little little bits and bobs, but they're they're sweet. But I've got this bag, so they just go in there. Oh, these are all the laces, bits and pieces of lace that I picked up from op shops recently. So I need to do some lace projects, but these are pretty. Oh, they're really nice. I've never had so much lace. <laughs> all right, let's just shove that all in the same bag. You know, one day I have to sort out my lace bag and uh, find things to wind them on because I don't use them in like that. Okay, and then I ended up with a box. Okay, I think that was everything. I had a really good day out. It was a lot of fun. Look forward to the next time. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.